tell from this mess what is going on right now. A, you are obviously a planner person, and B, you know I'm making a sticker binder. So I have all my supplies laid out and I'm actually really excited to get started. I have YouTube videos playing in the background. I have this binder that I got from Target that was really messed up. So I got it like $3 for a three inch binder which is pretty impressive. So I just got it just in case I end up not liking the binder system. I don't feel like I've wasted a lot of money. But we're gonna start doing this. Yeah, I'm excited. So quickly, I'll go through the supplies that I'm going to be using to make this sticker binder. I have, of course, all my stickers from Etsy that I want to put into pages. I have a three-inch binder. I made sure to get one that had the spot, like the rings on the back, so you have more room to put stuff in. And I also got one with one of these easy open clasps because I don't like the ones that hurt your fingers. I have two packs of white cardstock paper because it's thick enough to kind of hold stickers and not be wobbly but not also take up too much room. I have a roll of washi tapes from Michaels that I got on sale and I'm going to be using these to kind of decorate the pages. I'm going to put them right here. I got the idea from Julie in the Facebook group but she put washi down the side and then hole punched it so it looked a little bit prettier and it also like reinforced the holes so I'm definitely going to be doing that. I have a repositionable adhesive runner from Michaels. This was like $2. I'm going to be using this to tape down these sticker pages. I have some dividers so I can divide by shop because that's how I like to do it. I also got these. They're page protectors with a top on it so they can't slide out just in case I have any pages that I don't want to glue down. I don't really know why I'll be doing that. Maybe if I have like extras of certain pages but I just got these just in case otherwise I will take them back. And I also got a binder pouch to go in the front. I plan and I'm putting stickers that I don't have time to put away when I first get them here. Come on, focus. This camera's bad. But, um, so this will be in the front of the binder. And I'll probably put, like, a sticker on it just for fun. And then I have a three-hole punch. So I'm going to get started. And I will check in periodically and let you know how this is going. guys so I am what I want to say 99.5% done with my sticker binder took me forever and I'm just gonna flip through it really quickly to show you guys what the finished product looks like looks like excuse me so this is a three inch binder and to be honest I thought it was gonna be enough but I'm already kind of bulging so I don't know what I'm gonna do I really don't want to have two sticker binders it might just be time to clean some out but we all know that we don't like to do that so I set it up, like I said, this one was damaged. I bought it damaged because it was cheaper that way and also I wanted to make sure that I like the binder system. I have one of these pouches for like new stickers just so if I don't wanna sort them really quick, I can just stick them right here and sort them later. Um, this is a pocket for Christy and Design stickers, mostly because I use the calendars quite frequently so I wanted to keep them in the front so they're easy to access. This is just generic stickers I bought at the store for weather and sports. Um, the sports ones I don't use that often, but the weather ones I use constantly. So I just wanted them again in the front. Plus they're not from an Etsy store, but they are like not something I made. I don't know. But these are just little samplers as well. And then we get into the tabs. And for most of these, each tab is a different store. This one was where I was planning to put my Erin Condren customized labels. I don't know if I have room for that anymore, so we'll have to see how that goes. 
This one, the beginning, is Oh Hello Stationery, and I use one of the stickers that just came on one of her sets. I love shops that put their name as a sticker whenever you buy, just buy stickers from them. I feel like it becomes really useful, and so these are all stickers from her. Um, most of these I use adhesive rollers on, but I will be honest with you, I went through those very quick. I either broke them or used them up really fast, so I didn't really like that system. I'm just flipping through this. I have like monthly kits in the front and then it turns into like generic stickers. Like I have the rainbow ones. I copied the idea from Julie on one of the Facebook groups and I also follow her Instagram. She did a, a sticker binder and she put washi down the side to reinforce the holes. I do think it made the paper a little bit thicker but I do like the way it looks. I just think it adds a little bit more color to the page. So I enjoy that. So those are all the oh hello. And then we go into Pretty on Paper Co. Which is, she just released a bunch of horizontal sets. So I have paper set aside just to fill up this section. But these are all her vertical kits. Her little Halloween sampler, which I've used one of the cats already. So I need to get one of those. So then we just go into Have a Parade, which is another one of my favorite shops. She is growing pretty quickly and I'm excited for her. She just started about a month ago, just like Have a um, Pretty on Paper Co. So these are both newer shops, so definitely check both of these out. I do have coupon codes for both of these shops. I'll put them down below. Um, so these are just her stickers. And then we go into Scribble Prints and I just have a bunch of monthly kits from her. I started using a glue stick here and then as you can see I accidentally got a little bit here and so when I flip it it sticks to the divider which I'll have to figure out how to fix that. Um, but overall I really do like the way you can flip through and kind of see everything. Next we go into papered kiss. So these are all papered kiss stickers. Then I have Libby & Co. This one is actually on one of the strips I purchased off Amazon. It's one of those clear strips you can just stick to the back of paper, which I really like. Unfortunately, most of my stickers I cut up to fit in my last sticker storage container, which you saw at the beginning of the video. But So I had to glue most of these down or use an adhesive roller. And these ones really didn't do very well. I'm going to have to go back and redo this side. I'm hoping they'll kind of just set as I let them sit. So set as they sit haha -ha. um so those are all Libby and Co I have a little folder of extra ones that I cut up because they were in my last storage system these I got at Target they are page page protectors but they have a little pocket at the top because my last page protectors everything fell out of so I didn't like that I also got the dividers with folders in them so if I have like one little set one little sheet that doesn't really fit on a page because all the pages are full that way if I just want to stick a sheet in there don't have time to glue it down or if I pay a page is full I can stick it in there until I start another page then one orange snowflake I don't have too much from her but I just wanted to give her a section and then this is like my random store section I hand wrote that in but it's just pages of stores that I have stickers from that I don't really want to put in their own section like for instance I don't have a lot from Let's Plan It Bright. I have her samplers, but I want to order more, so I'm going to save these in here until I put its own section in. And I do have extra dividers, so I know I'll probably be adding on to those, but just different stores. I mean, just a little bit of everything in here. And then I did add a section for Store Bot, which is nothing in it right now, but I do have like planner stickers that are from the store, so I'll probably put those in there. I also have a section just for weekend banners, and these are from all different stores, but I just put them all in one area, though these are in the wrong section, ignore those guys, but um, these are all just from different places overall, and I just wanted one place to keep them just because weekend banners are something that you use typically every week, so I wanted to make sure they're easy to access. And then last stop in here is gingerly done, and I have a few pages of like icons and stuff from her just that I've collected over time. So overall, I really do like this system. It took quite a while for me to switch over. Um, that's what I have to tell you guys if you're planning on putting a, together a sticker binder just because plan on putting down a movie or starting a movie and sitting a while because it took me forever to transfer everything over. But overall, I'm going to print out a cute little cover and call it done. Um, hopefully, I'll clean some out and get rid of some stickers. But that's it, guys. I hope this was a helpful video and a little fun thing to watch. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.